I think we can smell the sea, but this forest is endless and it is getting very, very dark. I genuinely don't think we're going to make it. <laughs> I'm quite concerned. We are on our way to the little town of Clevedon, which is on the west coast of England. As you can see, we've got the luxury of a van to take us to the start. It's 7 a.m. It and is. it's very early and I'm tired, <laughs> but we've got an epic adventure to go, haven't we? We do indeed, yeah. When we get there, the crew are gonna kick us out and then we've got one epic ride to do. Coast to coast, but not your usual coast to coast, as lots of you will be expecting, because we are choosing a different route. You see, we live on an island here in the UK, so we have lots of different coasts to choose from. We basically made a route up so we can get an FKT, haven't we? Yeah, as easily as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much guaranteed we <laughs> get to the finish. <sighs> Our ride is basically chopping off the southwest leg of England, going from the muddy waters of the Bristol Channel to the clear azure English Channel on the south. Between those two points, we've got 170 kilometres of riding, 40% of it on dirt, linking up centuries-old byways and tracks with narrow tarmac lanes. The idea is to ride it fast. There is a time and a place for pooling along, and today is not it. There might not be an official finish line, or indeed, sadly, any prizes up for grabs, but sometimes it is nice just to go fast for the sake of it and see how quickly we can get this done. We've also got, I think it's fair to say, the bikes for the job as well, because Canyon have just released a new gravel bike. It's an updated version of their Grail, and it's designed to go fast, something which Canyon are calling gravel performance. And I mean, why not? Because with their other gravel bike, the Grizzle, which is designed for adventures, and this one is very much designed for the fast pointy end of gravel riding. And we're gonna give you some more details on these bikes as we get riding. Ooh, the sea look nice in the background. <laughs> it's so grey and lovely. <laughs> right, okay. Water. Yeah, food. Yeah, I got food. Yeah. GPS. GPS, route, loaded. Yeah, credit card. S credit card, spares. Waterproof jacket. Got it. Done. Um, all we've got to do now is do some riding from coast to coast. To the sea. <laughs> the other one. Yeah, the other one. See on the flip side. Oh, he's off already. We're coming out of town, out of the hustle bustle and the busy traffic. The mean streets of Clevedon. The mean streets of Clevedon. And we're heading towards our first little bit of off-road, a chaos up the road. And um, so far, dry. I'm expecting to hopefully see no mud. Yeah, we're making good progress, aren't we? But there is a slight issue with doing point to point today because uh, Storm Agnes <laughs> has hit the UK. And Agnes is blowing from a southerly direction which is exactly the direction that we're going in. So we've got, we've got a big headwind today, haven't we? 170 kilometers of headwind. Delightful. On that note, see you on the trails. Gravelly tires, bar bag for ultimate gravel authenticness. Size, bike is looking on point. I'm gonna call it burnt orange color. Copper. Copper. Random fact for you, that place we've just gone through yeah. uh, is uh, famous for its adders. Apparently there's 30 uh, adders. Oh. Uh, at this time of year, they like sunbathing. Well, that's a lovely fact, but we're also trying to divert around a giant puddle. Oh, one-handed. There he goes. Oh, that was quite deep. That was quite deep. Yeah. Rotor deep, I think. Rotor deep. Don't get out with rim brakes. This is the point of the ride where the profile goes up. This is the big climb of the day. But it's not bad, is it, really? Well, you say it's not bad. I mistakenly looked at the profile and was counting it as vertical. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not bad, is it? We're just cruising through the forest. Like, I absolutely love this bit. This is my stomping ground. I can tell you, local, I was struggling to keep up on the twisty bit. Well, where is he? Science and sport energy gels flying left, right, and centre. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, my feet's flying out of the pockets. There's something absolutely brilliant about riding trails and roads that you know 
but that you also realize that you're going to be leaving places that you're familiar with. You're on an adventure, like this feels different to normal, you know? Brilliant, I love that sensation. I like the feeling of going off the beaten track and we're out there, we're doing it, it feels like we're into the wilderness now. Yeah. <sighs> We appear to be very high up. Where are we? This is the top of Blackdown. Yeah. So uh, this is the very top of the Mendips, which is basically like the equivalent of kind of Mount Everest in these parts. So we are on the high point of our day, and uh, then we're going to be well, it's basically downhill now for 140 kilometres. That sounds delightful. Just just to clarify, it's it's downhill all the way, but still with a thousand metres of climbing. So just yeah. It's like your calf muscles have grown calf muscles, mate. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I mean, this is just so unnecessary. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Grumpy. So we're well and truly into this ride now. And I promised you that we would start to tell you about this new bike which we're riding on. Now, first things first, most striking difference between the new Grail and the original one is the handlebars. We've got a big change here, haven't we, Si? That's right, so the original one, in Canyon's words, broke the internet <laughs> because the hover bar was kind of polarizing, wasn't it? So the idea was that you hold on to the tops and they had a little bit more compliance in them because the stem wasn't attached there. And a lot of people loved it, but a lot of people, I think, found their look it's a little bit too different. Well, if you were someone that found it too different, yeah, we've now got a revised bar. The last little bit to mention, I think, Alex, is the gear groove, right? Oh. This is a super neat touch that helps you attach either a GPS or you can swap it out and they've got some bespoke aero bar extensions. Yeah, it's, they're not aero bars to try and make you as fast as Animate Van Blue, <laughs> are they? They're like aero bars to make you faster and crucially, to make you more comfortable. And with that, back to the bumpy climb. Hold up. Storm Agnes has been through. Do you reckon Matthew Vanderpool would have bunny hopped that? <laughs> oh, probably, yeah. Major trauma. Good my hand. Oh my God. I thought I'd got a horrific injury. <laughs> Touched the back of my leg, my hand came up covered <laughs> in like flesh and blood. And uh, anyway, fortunately, it's just a berry. It looks yeah. cool on the back of your leg, though. It looks Does like it? a war wound. On a more sensible point, we're about a third of the way in now. Yeah, we are. We've been making some really good progress, haven't yeah. we, on this bit? This is the one big chunk of road today. And Alex has been set on the front of 45k an hour. Even though he's got a handlebar bag on, <laughs> the man's got some form. So, uh, yeah, it's good. Good for the average speed, that. Of course it's a delivery van. Yeah. You know you're on a uh, European gravel ride when you stumble across something like this, just tucked away in a little village. I love the fact it's got a moat and everything. 1373, Edward III granted Sir John de la Mer a license to fortify his manor house. First bit of civilization of the day, and because we faffed around so much early on this morning, we're going to stop for an early lunch, aren't we, yeah. basically? Um, but this is Froome, very, very nice little town in the southwest of England. But Alex, I heard a very interesting fact about Froome earlier uh, this week. Oh, please tell me more. <laughs> well, so it turns out that Froome 
is the uh, place in the UK with the highest percentage of extramarital affairs <laughs> per capita. So, uh, so it's the, the least faithful, randiest town in Britain. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing that is lucky is we've both got our wedding rings on. Yeah, but that's just enticing. Oh, me. God damn it. That's literally like, <laughs> you're just, you're hot, hot um, property. Hot property, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm going for. Right, you need to get some food because your brain is obviously fried. <laughs> Lunch. We were going for curry. Curry place isn't open, but I didn't know there was a burrito joint. So that's what we're doing. I know we said we were going fast and we weren't going to potter around, but you've got to have lunch, right? And there's no better ride food than a burrito. Now, whilst we're waiting for our burritos and quite frankly hemorrhaging time, I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk through one other aspect of the bike that for me is really striking, okay? So, Obviously the handlebars are different, but the geometry of this bike is significantly different to the predecessor. In order to keep the riding position the same is they've lengthened the front centre, so it's got a slightly longer top tube on it. But the reason for having that short stem is they've made the head angle slightly slacker, and then also they've moved that front wheel forward so it's got uh, increased rake on the fork as well. Sat in the saddle riding along, the bike feels as every other bike would. When you get out of the saddle, you can feel there's something slightly different going on, but the reason they've got it is basically to make the bike a lot more stable and then also a lot faster through corners, basically. So having your front wheel just a little bit further ahead of you makes loose cornering way, way quicker. You just got more confidence. It's kind of hard to describe, but um, mountain bikers have been doing it for years and now kind of gravel is gravitating that way as well. Um, this is what is known as a naked burrito bowl. Three bean, mild, guacamole on top. Trust yeah. Froome, Randy old Froome to make it naked <laughs> as well. <laughs> right, back on the road, here we go. As they say in Mexico, adios amigos. Isn't, I think. Yeah. We're on dirt again, aren't we mate? We are indeed. Um, grass, I would say. Not entirely sure how fast the riding is going to be because there's a lot of off road now, isn't there? And this is not familiar to us. Wish us luck. Bye. Zango, so too fast, so you'll leave me behind. Oh, the battery's running low. Low battery. The GoPro, not us. Hey, this is cool up here. This is super cool, isn't it? Yeah. Oh man, it feels like we've been down in the in like the bottoms of the valleys for so long now and then to suddenly pop out on the top. Yeah, love it. What a view. The section here is creepy, right? I've seen these woods on the map for years and I've been desperate to ride in them. There's something about them that just really doesn't feel right. Like it's a beautiful gravel track and we're cruising along and it's absolutely amazing. But yeah, the woods just feel totally lifeless. I think they're like pheasant shooting woods. And so uh, there's, just, there's just nothing here except for birds that are waiting to be shot. Oh, I think I might've gone the wrong way. Too much jibber jabbering. Wow. Slight problem with my route. A We're small, alive! We're alive! A small section of basically motorway. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, here we go. We're back on the good stuff. Right, we are back off-road again soon. The one slight thing that's going through my head now, mate. Yeah. The dark. Yeah. It's, it's, it's getting to the point now where we're like, hmm. It's gonna be touch and go as to yeah. how much light is left when we get to the end because whilst it's been okay weather, it's not been particularly bright. No. Nope. So, I know, I think we've got three hours of daylight left. I didn't think it would end up being like this. 
I also think we've got probably three hours worth of riding left. It is genuinely going to be close. No one will believe it, but it's just happened. Wow. I think when people see how much we've spent faffing around, yeah. they're going to know. It's quite idyllic gravel, this. No matter what continent you live on, this qualifies as primo gravel. Sun's out too. Yes. We've had our bars and gels, all the fancy nutrition. Crisps sometimes is what you need. We've got 42 k's to go. It's five o'clock, meaning we've got two hours till dark. Alex, contrary to looks there, isn't actually struggling. He's just choking on salt and your crisps. I can't cycle uphill and eat crisps. Not possible. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why energy gels became so popular. The clock is ticking. The sun is moving rapidly in the wrong direction. And our legs are starting to hurt. Yeah. And I have a feeling we're about to slow down quite a lot in the forest. Oh, I'm in the middle of like a, a real sense of humor failure. Like, I mean, look at this. Like, it's actually really annoying me. Look at the state of me. I'm having a little moment to myself, although you're now filming it. I am um, wondering how we're going to do this bit. It doesn't actually look that bad. Oh, mate, yeah, no worry. Okay. We've escaped from the trail of doom. That was absolutely horrific. And now I don't really can see, but it's, it started raining as well. Fresh. Yeah. It's, uh, it's quite a famous spot now, isn't it? This yeah. is where Dan Lloyd practices his pull-ups. This was not what I'd anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's do it. Wow. Honestly, I never thought I'd this see that. Good. I am genuinely lost for words. Yeah, I'm lost for words. How many is that? 12. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Come on, mate! Almost, almost. Yeah. <laughs> right, come on, we better go. We've embarrassed ourselves, thanks. <laughs> Celebrity cameo. Enjoy the rest of your ride. I think we got it, come on. We can do it. The coast is not that far. Yeah, let's go swimming! <laughs> Time for an emergency gel. I should have had this before, really. Now, I know at the start of this video, I said Canyon are very much calling this a performance gravel bike, but what does that actually mean? How does it translate into going fast? Well, at the heart of this bike, it's very much race inspired. It's taking design cues from the Canyon Ultimate, which is the bike that was ridden to victory at the first ever Gravel World Championships. We've got similar tube shapes and profiles. We've got the same seat post designed to add compliance into the bike. It's a bike with improved aerodynamics over the previous generation. And if you add some of the fitted storage compartments to this bike, well, it actually makes it faster by one watt. And I've got to say, so far, we've covered ground pretty blooming quickly to get to this point here. And right now, 15k to go, so we better get back to it. Five k to go. I think we got this, but it feels really weird. We're now not only riding in the twilight, but also in the middle of Bournemouth. But the beach. Is calling. Ah, I just want it to be over. <laughs> Yay! 
There it ah. is. Ah, oh, mate. This actually looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually chuffed we've made it. Oh, mate, give me a high five. Yeah, buddy, that Bloody was hell. so cool. Rate that. Okay, I'm just going to take a selfie, mate, to finish off from... Uh... Oh, if we don't get a selfie, it's not true, is it? Ready? Brilliant. I feel like I look considerably tireder <laughs> than I did early on. I would sigh, I mean, that's incredible. Yeah, we have properly, like... I know we've done a lot of faffing. We've got here at 6.59. Yeah. What time is sunset? Like 6.57 today? Yeah. So, I mean, we kind of failed. But, Whatever. you know, there's still enough light in the sky. Yeah, if... We've ridden from coast to coast. We've got two incredible new bikes that have taken us through the journey. I've had an absolute blast. It's been a dream ride of them, and um, what a day. Yeah, and the best thing about it is that we're going to have a rip-roaring tailwind when we ride home now, aren't we? Storm Agnes is blowing a hoonie. Right, anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. And uh, yeah, any, any questions about the bike, stick them in the comment section. We'll get involved, won't we? Yeah, also let us know what we should get for dinner or what you think we'll get. That's a good point. And then lastly, the FKT has been laid down. We'll put the route up on GCN Strava. And uh, if you want to take it, I'd, I'd genuinely recommend it. If you're in the yeah. area, come and do it. Preferably without a headwind like we had. <laughs> right, we're out of here. Thanks very much. See you later.